Juhu. Hier so check. Oh yeah, I changed the server. I turned off the automatic shit and uh, picked a different server. Uh, it's probably a server issue. Can you sell out and say my name for 10 bucks? Uh, Marconus. And somebody use the Marconus command in chat, please, guys. Thank you, I appreciate it. Commission Mark Marconus. Best command in the channel. Guys, you ho uh, even if that guy was, you know, just, uh, you know, memeing, I hope you do uh, make sure that the Dwarf campaign doesn't last longer than uh, five minutes. Burn those shackles. Say no to Dwarf's campaigns. So we're using uh, Lord Croak, using uh, Boom 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 on the Lizardman. How is that ethical? I have a feeling uh, once people save up a lot of uh, channel points, the shackles, we're gonna have a series of dwarf campaigns and emperor campaigns. Can't wait for them, half of them to corrupt. Just how it is with the emperor and uh, uh, dwarf campaigns. You know, when you use mods, the, the game just corrupts. They get loved. I don't have the battle skills, so they're pretty good at guarding here. We Norska. Uh, don't request Norska, you sicko. What the hell? Elich intentionally making campaign scrap so he can make us waste some points and money. How would I make the campaign corrupt? Why? I would just say, guy. Why would I even corrupt anything? I would just say, guys. I, I'm not in mood to play this. Just stop it there. Instead of going into a frustrating depression. Like I don't want to play this. We're done. That's all I need to do, right? Why would I corrupt anything? It's that easy. I'm done. I'm going off. We'll start a new something new tomorrow. So Why even go through any trouble? Yeah. You guys know that I have uh, OCD with the closure. Two campaigns haven't even been finished. I'm losing sleep. Just ask uh, Dieg Bro or Rubio what I told them uh, when the wood else is gone. I was thinking about restarting the campaign. I have issues. Four hours of rebel grinding. Like we restarted the, the Norse campaign that corrupted. We'll be playing with else after the DLC. The milestone things are no more, it's discontinued. We have uh, plenty of requests uh, to mend the months and the uh, shackles now. So, mil mil uh, milestone campaigns are a thing of the past. We'll still be doing the ones that uh, have been planned. Uh, after that, no more milestone campaigns. But we are not gonna be rushing to do them. Whenever I feel like it.
You guys uh, saw the uh, uh, Legend of the War having a save corrupt live on stream as well. He has uh, like 7,000 hours in the game. Who knows how much AFK? And uh, only one save corrupt. It's never happened to him before. So happened to him as well. I have the you know since this shit started happening like uh, with the cut cutting campaign that one time, I have regularly people uh, uh, send me a message on a weekly basis. Uh, this campaign just corrupted. I just lost the save. That campaign corrupted. It's like I'm just like coming to my PC, waking up, look at the messages, and immediately going to depression, hitting uh, other people uh, losing their saves to corruption. We'll see. I don't give a shit. They confirmed this issue, but uh, you know. They discovered it probably is a mod issue. You know, because we are, uh, we love mods here and we use the mods in every campaign. Oh my god! Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! What the hell? Four. Thank you, Andrew. They don't test on Legendary, it's simple. If they test on Legendary, they would actually know how to play the game. This confirms it. They don't test on Legendary, they don't give a shit. It's a minority who plays the game on Legendary. It would be perfect if everything worked uh, fine, but uh, they don't bother. I mean, guys, have you seen the public order on Wood Elf Legendary campaigns? It's been like that for four years. They don't test shit. They just test uh, early game on uh, lower difficulties. It's obvious. If they tested the game on Legendary, they would have accounted the save corruption. Or maybe uh, they don't have a, a, a convenient solution. They don't want to uh, save, uh, the change the save system. Defeat the hand and we get more uh, casualties capture post battle, which is totally useless. I don't even know if that's what it does. And minus 20% casualties suffer from all attrition. I guess that's a little bit of help. Got the renown and field here. It's sad to say these guys, but uh, the devs just suck at the metagame. They're people with the jobs, not with, not really with uh, passion, skill and talent. Jobs come first. We're lucky if some of them are talented. This is a full-time job dedicating your life to you playing a game like this. And it's, for them it's a job. They're not getting paid uh, you know, to dedicate their lives to a video game. And that's why we're always going to have uh, some issues regarding balancing meta and uh, bugs on uh, different situations. That's how it is. You gotta just make peace with it. You must die. You guys play this game, right? Even on hard difficulty. And their content producer picks uh, Doom and Darkness. The content producer picks uh, Doom and Darkness uh, fighting against dwarves. Instead of Soul Blight. And all the early game dwarf units have a lot of armor and a lot of base weapon damage. How the fuck you route a dwarf unit with a Doom and Darkness in the early game? With the green skins? I have no idea. So this tells you everything. Uh, unless they're doing it on you know, purpose to uh, invite, you know, this type of brain damage. They just suck at the metagame, that's how it is. They're just people with jobs. If they cared at all about this, they would probably hire the uh, nerd or arcade to do their streams. People who actually know what they're doing. Hmm. 
Some Terrans here. It's kind of crazy, you know, they make the game, uh, you know, I don't know how they play test the game. But, and then they don't even really know the parts of their game. The people who hired for them to do this game, it's supposed to be their job to, you know, study and learn know the game so they can actually be good at their job. But instead they suck. So what the hell is their job then uh, when they, you know, they say they have no time to, uh, you know, to play the game, to say everything, when they're supposed to be doing it, you know, for their job, uh, presenting game in this cutthroat, uh, you know, streaming uh, universe environment. I don't know, maybe just me, but uh, where is their pride? I guess they don't care about it either. It's almost like they treat it just like a game and not like something more, which is insulting to their uh, community. That is probably the worst thing in 2020. This is not just a minority of people who play video games, especially in the strategy game genre. Fucking insulting to the community. Have you guys seen the, some of the streams they did recently after the that one with Grom? It's like the chat was super toxic. It's like I might sound like uh, here toxic and sensitive, but I'm just speaking the truth here. You should have seen what the chat is writing. Holy shit, I would have just banned them all. I'm gonna uh, strike uh, Dark Elves here. I'm gonna have to ignore New Itza for now. And this is Sullivan's just war zones. Wow, no moment. And we have four skin cohorts in a in a Itza in tier three. Four skin cores and jowlins. Why are they not chameleons or, uh, or skirmishers? They're not missile units. Pointless is to try to fortify Subatoon. But now that this is tier 3, uh, it could be viable. Let's try to get tier 4 uh, Temple Pachikuri first.
need money for the second army and we don't have it right now. And it was pretty much just vacuum mauling and fishing. Building the walls here. Attack. Hell yeah, I got this term stuck in my head after uh, Fallout 4 was released. Minimal effort, maximal profits. That's true businessmen these days. They can get away with it in the digital world. Just good marketing. Am I shunned because I like Troy? No. I was like, why would you be shunned? Shunned because he's epic. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no, you're dead to me. Here they come again. A kid, a kid. We're just gonna go after the settlements now. And hopefully the Issa doesn't get overrun. We should try to get new Issa, but we're gonna have to do the circle then. It's possible we have enough movement here. Look at that capital. They build a public order building, barracks, and they have a port. And there's gold here. Wow. Why is there gold there in the first place? Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. The protector of luster is very good. All this shit is overkill here. Especially his uh, his melee line, just uh, just a waste. His unique skills are old enough. That's why the campaign skills just rocking this guy. The fact he's Gorok uh, makes campaign skills even better because you don't have to take his yellow skills at all, which are trash, no mount. I get this, and that's all the all you need uh, if a croc is in your army. Let's hope uh, we don't waste the whole turn here. Nice. I need a skin chief. The pompo scanning and perceptive. I guess the pompous is fine. The strong Kronk's very ancient. How 
many settlements does he still have left? One settlement, pretty good. You're hurting him pretty bad here. Faction destroyed! Damn! Nice! He was in a, in a sandwich between Teclas and Gork. Three blessed out of spirits with shields. God damn it! Where the warriors at? Why don't we have some kind of event and we pick which one we want? We're not playing Hearthstone here for fuck's sake. Absurd. It's that stink. Unlikely. Mmm, this is pretty good. Don't have the battle skill yet, but very croak. So rebels will have decent units. Have uh, uh, good uh, fortifications there. So how did they get this in the first place? Dekl is doing pretty good here, I guess, because we destroyed pestilence and uh, backdoored uh, the dark elves at the same time. So it's only natural that he's doing good. It's like it's would be a surprise if he didn't do good, right? Currently, the biggest problem is not having Proud Warrior. The 8 attack is critical and the 6 armor helps as well. Before we do continue, boys, I'm gonna get a coffee. I'm gonna be up all night. Might not be streaming all night, but uh, I'm still gonna be up all night with a coffee. We're gonna expect them to attack us here. The rebels are coming there. It all depends on what, uh, what they got. This is five turns. No. They're probably gonna attack exactly in five turns. This does help. It's only five turns. It does help a lot in this battle immediately. No. Mm, this is probably six turns. Unless we sell it out. We don't only need it for this. It should be used for the city. It should work for the city. So I will not use it right now. Uh, rebels in four turns, five turns. Oh, they're coming to us. That's a lot of range damage. If I knew there was an army like that there, I would have probably uh, deployed on the border. You just killed 20 Ivrits and got no loot. And yeah, they definitely is busted. That should not happen. Bad design. How many injuries did you get? Those archers are really deadly to the Teradons. Hmm. 
They're attacking us. We could just deploy these trees here. Or these trees here as well. It's probably even better because it's a little bit elevated. Then we have to go around. They have, what, 10 range units? Yeah, we'll uh, hug the forest here. Uh, the jungle, my bad. We cannot uh, outrun them, and uh, they have shooters. Most of them don't even care about uh, skirmish, but I mean the warriors uh, would probably go for it. We'll just deploy here in the, in the trees to minimize the damage. We like the armor and uh, attack skill. And uh, we have no healing. If the trees block turtle projectiles, it's good for us. One second. Okay. They see us here, we don't have to get Terrans yet. They have uh, counters to Terrans. They're attacking us. Probably would be better if we can get down uh, up there, but it uh, would take too long to move the whole army. A little bit more here. This can still block a lot of shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Stick to the jungle. If you're in the open, we just give them advantage because uh, they have so many shooters. Make a doomstick for Itza. Uh, what's doomstick? Or oh, get whatever is the most effective. This is a deadfish campaign. We don't need doomstick. We need more armies. <laughs> I rotted the damage unit out. A little bit into the trees now. Here comes the big one! They're using magic! Enemy magic! <laughs> Do these elves have any idea who that is? Who that corpse is? Have any idea? damaged ones. We lost, uh, as you can see, we lost a lot of health here, but not many casualties. So we're rotating out the units because we have uh, uh, more units than them for the grinder. 
You can see the Terran's bombardment is pretty effective. Four of them can lead two units of infantry without even shooting. We're talking about uh, Empire being shit. Talking about car flams, guilt. They get less missile damage in woods. Uh, the some of the projectiles get blocked. All of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh. Following since 3rd May 2019, previously sub for one month. We not watched any of my Emperor campaigns. <laughs> oh, this must be a troll, guys. Be gentle. your 10 archers and I raise you boom 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 welcome to the jungle I'm almost ready to send in the pterodons but they'll just focus pterodons then because they're approaching yeah. better them focus the shields here As, when they start fleeing, we'll send the, the, the Terradons off in them. This uh, could be it. Running out of power. If we chase them, they're gonna start fleeing. Okay, they're gonna route now. Croak is not enough. They're sending the Terradons to uh, shoot them as they're fleeing. They're on throw spears. They have actually pretty good damage, just not very good AP. Very good at uh, shooting some of the uh, bulky units. They're not out of armor before they do any serious damage to them, though. It's usually best just to, uh, you know, focus a unit or two or just run something damaged. You can all send them in melee. I think about fireballs, pretty good, but they're uh, tier 4 now. Can't get them on tier 3 anymore. If you're lucky, you get a... Uh, you get a blessed one and you get early nice damage support for the Saurus. Terrans, you know, when you don't need them... Uh, don't need them. When you need them, you're gonna be happy you have them in the army. You don't need extra for Saurus, right? Definitely beat that uh, trash attack uh, cavalry. Other ones are good, but they require another building. Who calls? Man, I will fight with you. Bring me to my men. If I use cavalry with uh, Lism and it's exclusively uh, the Regiment of Renown or the Blessed Units, any of them are just good. The Blessed Horror one's probably the best damage dealer of uh, the Lizardmen. 
That's so fucking rare, though. Man, those guys uh, taking only 10 damage, damn. Only 10 casualties when they lost half health. This is a decisive victory here. So guys, uh, Sir Ultim is sending me videos uh, from uh, Gladiator movie. Is is just making me wanna, you know, cave in and watch Gladiator and then install ROM too. What is wrong with him? This planchment is pretty awesome. I do forget the single end is uh, on the Warhammer 2 factions. We're probably gonna get fixed one day. He wants me to press this button here. He wants me to press this button. Would be interesting, you know, uh, annoying people playing vanilla. But, you know, we gotta play more Bell Brothers. I might just pull out the good old King Roman Gibated. Hold on, hold on, let me just switch to King Roman. <laughs> oh man. We think more than half the people are AFK here, they know we're not gonna know what's happening when we do it. And yeah, this will give us the headhunter jungle here. Six enemies right now. It's one scout there. Rank 15. We've got the campaign skills. Uh, physical resistance 10% for Sauros, smell defense plus 10 for Sauros Temple Guard units. That's actually a little bit extreme. That is extreme. Shame that the physical resistance doesn't work on Temple Guards. Like you're gonna use Temple Guards uh, on early game lore because you got Proud Warrior. So now uh, our Saurus have 5% uh, ward save, 15 uh, magic resistance, and 10 physical resistance. They might as well have 50% ward save. Which is. Damn. Makes Arcane look like a peasant. With his 5% ward save for the army, right? Irrepressible. Uh, this is more public order, gonna be plus 8, plus 10, plus 8. I uh, wanna get the regeneration and the physical resistance, I can do tanking. Chew that, Akitama, chew that. Army on the left, army on the right, nearly 50-50. I guess Croak, uh, Lord Croak doesn't do shit for balance of power. Just uh, one of the most, one of the best infantry killers in the game. Die, die. 
The thing uh, full ball is Gorok Army is as good as tier uh, 4 5 infantry. If you have Lord Cloak, sure, it may be com comparable. But Temple Guards are still all a little bit better because they also have uh, armor piercing and anti, uh, anti large. And overall, better stats. But since you build up army early for the Saurus, you don't have to replace them. They are good enough. The the Blessed Temple Guards are still the the best infantry overall. The most versatile. Then the the Saurus with the perfect vigor. But it's you know difference with the battle skills. If you get battle skill for the Saurus, you're gonna stick with the Saurus. That's just how the early game works. Later on, you're gonna pick Temple Guards, of course. Temple Guards uh, just have uh, massive stats and anti large. So you have a uh, pretty much uh, wall that cannot be really matched. It's like chosen halberdiers with shields. They are just tougher. Saurus will always be a little bit better at killing infantry, but uh, Temple Guard is more versatile. Blessed Saurus is definitely better than the regular Temple Guards. That's, uh, that's not even up in the discussion. And the Blessed Saurus stats are so good that they can fight large just as good. Because they don't, don't only get perfect vigor, they get all the stuff as well. Uh, the Blessed Temple Guards are uh, ridiculous as infantry unit. The fact they're anti large uh, and that at that point you probably have uh, a big dinosaurs uh, for all damage, that's probably gonna, gonna be your infantry of choice. Because you wanna still mix them a bit or you can just use dinosaurs, right? On a new army, you're gonna go with Temple Guards, right? Especially if you've hit that uh, uh, area of the game. If not, uh, the second arm will still be Saurus, and uh, the third one will be Temple Guards. The Blessed Units are random, unpredictable. You, uh, there's no guarantees you're gonna get them. But they're also some of the strongest units in the game. Yeah, that uh, sounds about right. Saurus with Karnos and uh, Temple Guards with Stakes. They're just gonna delete the, the Terradons here, we just basically disengage. Terradons are really weak to archers. Since the Carnosaur battle skill now has Dreads Orients, uh, it's become good to consider. Even uh, mix up Carnosaurs don't have enough uh, access to Dreads Orients. And since the healing exists now, uh, this seems to become very good. Before healing, I would have still just used the Stegadons. But now that since the healing exists, the, the Carnosaurs uh, are definitely worth considering. If you have them available. The fact that the battle skill also supports the Dread Saurian, it's a, it's a very good battle skill. From one of the worst battle skills to uh, a very good battle skill. Just with, uh, with one change like that. If you guys missed uh, Dread Saurians in action, we did the uh, full test with them in uh, the last Exodal campaign where we fought 10 times chaos. It's still a horrible AI unit though. Oh, 
And this would be a nice explosion here. Shadow Warriors are just annoying. They don't have proper counters. Hound ones would be amazing to deal with them. But we just usually just have to ignore and wait for them to get routed. I'll just send in uh, a horde of flyers here rather than shooting them. Such a small battlefield. Second spam is already now. Second is still uh, uh, good to spam. But the balanced armies are just more reliable. I'll be in situations where those armies uh, might feel awkward. Then I have to spam anything. If you have economy, uh, you should definitely consider spamming dinosaurs. Just how the game works. Preferably uh, mixed with, uh, with temple guards. You just wanna, you know, for quality, you wanna show your uh, economic superiority. You're not gonna be building a balanced uh, multiplayer armies if you have powerful economy, right? That doesn't mean you have to just build Stegadons. You can still go with a Stompy army uh, that just goes in. Who do we have here? Booker? Booker... Uh, you've been lurking? What is this? Marcus the ones? Oh god, bless out of spills. I mean, good emergency units. Blessed units are perfect for the emergencies, but uh, so not all of them are really good uh, for the army. Can you show which competitors can I pick? Yeah. Since we wanted some early rebellions, uh, we didn't pick the usual 3 1. Instead, we went uh, 3 Bond and Service and 1 Ancient Cunning. And then the Clannic Strike, Germanic Sustenance, and Unfeared, you know, standard here. It was a regular campaign, I would have picked uh, three here and one here. So you just keep rolling uh, without worrying about public order. Let's go for Proud Warrior. Red Hulk. We probably had one less rebellion if we got, went the other way around. Uh, Peprons. But it says, three new cakes arrived from my beer machine, I now have six. I'm going to get stuck in now. You mean, uh, you're getting, uh, mangled? That's pretty much the term I use now, you know. Guys, don't bother me, I'm getting mangled. I'm getting fucking mangled. I got mangled. Booker says, the 3 DLC was so bad, no one the spawn streamers dropped uh, faster than Troy. What's, uh, what's wrong with it? Get in, monkey. Come on, brass. You're getting ready, say it. You're getting mangled. Today is your day. Tomorrow you're gonna go, come with a headache. And you say, guys, I got fucking mangled yesterday. Oh, 
when I saw the trailer uh, with those animals uh, attacking like that in uh, in the battle, uh, you know, it was almost like cry for help. I mean, uh, cry for Warhammer players. Mm. This one is just what is that pompous sound? We have a uh, headhunter jungle now. Uh, Rosalpine says, well, to be honest, if the agents in Troy weren't uh, so OP as fuck, I'd probably play more. <sighs> just more it. Don't like something, just more it. Don't board devs. Just more it. How many settlements does uh, Techless have? Two? I guess we can just uh, go after him. Bok bok bok. There are no mods. What? Come on, guys. Total War game without mods. How will the peasants play the game? If they can have this convenience, that convenience, remove this from the game, add that to the game. It's impossible. We could just keep it like this and then rebuild it every now and then, but. I also want to kind of stabilize it as well. Rebelling in five turns. Agents in be like, I sold this goddess and take away 90% of its strength. That sounds like uh, the early round 2 agents. Agent 2. You guys remember the, the round 2 agents before that one of the last, uh, latest updates? Last updates? Like the skilled one just uh, kill army in 3 clicks. It wouldn't be able to do anything. Not only just destroy the whole army, but also uh, permanently prevent it from moving at the same time. So we played uh, our mythological little war even before uh, Troy, guys. We had uh, so f fucking superheroes on the map. Dinner time! Man, Gorok is real savage. It could be uh, more scaven here and you can still get the mace. How does so strong they are 4833? Don't wanna go crazy in there. The tickles are probably gonna go around. I think we could get a scan settlement here for the maze. Impossible. Twenty units here. Foolish, stupid. Looks like they got also pretty good units here. Pizza has the good towers though.
So let's start with the uh, rank one, fourth generation. When they besiege the city, we could get this, but how many of these units do we even have in the city? You must Seven. It almost looks like it's gonna be another rebellion before this one finishes. Problem is the follow-up, because uh, another faction can move in uh, while we are being besieged. That's the problem. That's probably, you know, the way it's gonna go. They besiege us and then another faction moves in and wait for them to finish attacking. But they act last, so at least that's on our side. The wars are busy with Sentinels of Zeti. Yoo-hoo! So we have a uh, temple of Pachacuti under siege. Three red ogres and three black catapults. I did close everybody, yeah, but uh, you don't meet them until they move again. If they end uh, end in the the side at the at the, at the end of the turn. You can see the faction on the screen sometimes, but uh, it doesn't get revealed on the end of the turn. And they start moving again. Unless you move close to their uh, vision. That's how it works. What? Where the scaven, yo? Pompous. That was a scare in here. We have, we have to go aggro and take us to destroy him immediately. No downtime. Grab him by the balls and kill him. Same we did to the clump pestilence and uh, the dark hills. No. They're not gonna wait five turns here, because they're five turns here, it's gonna be really bad. So we're gonna activate the right of resilience immediately. Ten more, more dead defense makes a difference, and uh, we'll make it easier to destroy techless with minimal losses. Never. By destroying techless, so one less uh, faction that bothers us here. Techless has to be aggroed fast. Because uh, he might uh, confederate uh, somebody on Ultron, and it's really bad news. It extends the uh, short campaign uh, quite uh, f further. But, in, uh, you know, the, the L Dark Elves could also clear him. 
But in a perma war campaign, we have to focus Techless, so we don't have to go to Ultron. Uh, four turns for rebels here, not good, not good. We need public order here. Corruption is just massive. I guess we're gonna have to get an army here. Which means uh, we need recruitment. Having uh, this one is nice to continue using Terradons as a support unit. But we wanna get uh, Underground Lagoon. It makes sense to uh, get in Chupayotl. It's this is a uh, temperate island. And they fuck up the climate here, really. I guess they wanted to make this friendly for Techless. City Bobos. This place could just get attacked while we're doing the other things. They could interrupt our recruitment while we're trying to save the city from the rebellion. I guess then uh, it has to be in the new Itza. But having a military building here, it's probably just best to have it in, in Subatoon. But this one can also get attacked. The wars are still at war with the descendants of Zeti, uh, they're not gonna move unless they make peace. Ah, screw it, it has to be Chupayotl. So we don't have any complications. We have enough money for the second army with a small negative. Especially if we get the campaign skills going. Oh, nice, they're coming after us. Don't you just love it when this, the elves think they can win? In the fucking jungle? With them archers? Techless, you must be the best wizard in the game, but uh, your AI, you suck. Balance of power might be in your favor. That's all we got. Mm. No trees on our side. God damn. At least they have a spear. They have a sword masters with Techless. They still have that bird. We could uh, rush into this jungle here. The reinforcements are far. Moving into, the, into these trees makes sense. Our army is pretty simple. Spears first, cause uh, they take damage and they go back and then the proper killers go in. No vigor, so we'll be taking uh, some damage here. But we have lots of power. Mm. 
We'll deploy uh, uh, guys here in the trees, so they start taking some archers. The invisible wall here, goddamn. Nicholas has uh, potentially some spells that uh, hurt more speeding. Uh, it's unpredictable. This many Terradons should overrun that bird. It's good, uh, the bird is good at picking them down, especially with rank 9. Sorry guys, one second. If only it was a build ready pipe issue, this is more of a... This is more of a... Uh, broke back issue. Gotta have to gonna have to replace something again. This goddamn house, everything is falling apart. Can't have uh, two months without any extra expenses. So they didn't see us there, huh? I'm gonna be shooting Terradons here. They send the Shadow Warriors. Let's see if that's the only thing. The Terradons and the characters will be able to bring them down. I think there's skirmishes here. Just have to pin them, right? Shit, he's only taking so much damage. Not them hell, uh, high elves in the opening get the uh, shot to death. Okay, they got terrified here. We just have to shoot them away. They want to. Uh, they want to shoot us in the open. That's what the worst thing that can happen. Just ridiculous damage. We have to uh, try to block some of the shots with the trees. The sword masters are coming to shit. Those uh, should have worried routed into their army. Of course. Sword Master is a little bit problematic, but we'll just tire them with the spears for now. Let's we'll send uh, our uh, anti large here on the bird. We'll go with a big blow here. Big boom. Once the spears uh, tire them a bit, uh, we replace them with uh, the clubs. Spears are just there to uh, within a bit. Oh shit, these guys are not shaded yet. Drop 
Oh, another boom there. Boom two. But they, they did a couple of good hits on the bird. Let's see how the Mastertons can uh, handle a uh, great eagle in the melee. Probably not so well. The uh, the eagle should be very good at killing them. Only killed one. I don't see much damage dealt there. Totally, totally destroyed two terror units from the looks of it with rank age. It's not even worth it. They just made it will counter uh, units like this. They're not very good in melee with those terrorons. Our best bet is just to send uh, the uh, our uh, uh, Saurus Car veteran. Stick to the trees, boys. Stick to the trees. Let's go to a bomb ground. Countering uh, croak there. Just uh, it's a big target, so it's easiest to, to shoot from all the guys we have. We have 60% ward save, 50 missiles. This is still uh, killing him pretty good. And I just your uh, average uh, archers of the high elves here. Let's send these guys forward. Since we have no Uyghur, so they have a little bit of advantage in the initial stages of the fight. The world believes in human-sized lizard and troll-sized alligator men, but not ratmen. Kekwi. Man, Loki, why are you talking a bunch of nonsense lately? Enough is enough. No such thing. Masters here. Would a Shadow Walker meme stake from the AI completely destroy you? Would do ridiculous damage, but with Croak uh, and Trees, uh, we would be fine, I think. If they wouldn't like no trees on the battlefield, sure. Is that bird? I got spanked by the guy, huh? Send this uh, health ones to get rid of it. Just start taking down enough. Looks like they're uh, routed. I want to take some damage, but the Saurus uh, uh, haven't taken much casualties. They're very, very hard to kill. Especially now with the physical resistance. I wonder if Vertilli being able to destroy trees would be too much for the engine to handle. I hope they can always make like kid engine like Fortnite, you know, and uh, be able to destroy trees in the next level war if you want uh, just destruction like that. It's not like people already complaining about games like Civilization 6 and, uh, uh, you know, changing the realistic graphics into silly graphics. Yeah. 
Teclis is a small PP wizard compared to Lord Croak. He did not just say that. Why do I feel like I'm being targeted here? Someone trying to trigger me here. Looks like that potion of healing is based on Gorok. Gorok is so tanky that they just ignore him, unless they have quality units. Good replenishment for the guys here. We have Lichman Pan, that's good. This will make uh, uh, Lord Croak need him into magic. Wanna, uh, we wanna destroy uh, Order of Lord Masters here. What do we have here? Terrible skink memes? God damn. Nice spawn army. Legend of War sent his regards. A oh, nice uh, awakening the reward with the Hans Marshall. Thirty magic resistance on Legion Parent. I guess it's a little bit overkill. One hundred fifty percent magic resistance and five percent ward save. <coughs> we get another ten here. Maybe we should missile resist. That's what I want to get here. Give me that fifty missile resist. We can also make the boom booms cheaper, but uh, it's not our top priority. Give me a potion of healing here. What is the most balanced, unbalanced meme army that we can have? Uh, second generation uh, life slant and 19 dreads orients. Hmm. So bonus stats makes the heroes pretty good in this army. I mean, there's definitely a lot of them, but uh, you ask about a meme army. Of course, a full hero army is gonna be the best for the Lizardmen. As they have some of the strongest heroes in the game. This is a juicy free experience here. Bok, bok, bok. Bok, bok, bok. Look well, at Terran nearly dying. What the shit? What the shit game? What? We don't have it in range? Oh, Fucking hell, man. We were here and we don't. What the shit? 
Can't believe it. What a fucking waste of a turn. How is this even possible? Fucking leaves him in the jungle. It seems to have like the worst move in the jungle. It just, you know, bad RNG. Fucking hell, man. We even have extra movement. That settlement, uh, attacking the settlement was more important than attacking the second army. What the fuck is up with this movement, man? It's just so stupid for the lizard in the here. The natural terrain is bad for everybody but the lizard, it seems. That was bad. That was fucking bad. I'm irritated by that. You must die. This is absurd. Quasada. Forget it. I bet they're not seeing no fucking confederation because we missed one turn here now. Holy shit, that would be toxic if that happens because of this turn. Doesn't look like the Hennon was just gonna go uh, steamroll all these elements here. Yeah, let's let's take one turn downtime, cuz you know we are uh, we have uh, we have time. Should have just go from the cell, but I just can't believe it. there's no fucking movement there to connect. Holy shit! It's like you would think that uh, from here doing two army attacks and we had enough attack to attack the cell movement to attack the settlement. But no, apparently not. Should have been uh, just paying more attention. Fucking hell. Now they're gonna get, uh, what, seven extra units? I miss a whole turn of replenishment as well. Oh boy. It's irritating. But I resolved new Terran unit, probably. My turns, by the way, is for the sieges because the Sauros alone have dog shit mobility and vulnerability. And a little bit more flexible units instead of just a full army of Sauros. I thought that was clearer from the previous Lisbon campaigns. It's 
Since we uh, had to waste another whole turn to take this element, so last turn, we're probably going to recruit a bunch of uh, units again in, in the second settlement. Hopefully it's not in tier 4. Probably don't even have enough movement from here to here, so they're going to get two armies again like nothing happened. Fucking hell, that turn was so bad. Shit like that should not ever happen to me here. That was just bad thinking. But like, for fucking here to here, no fucking movement? Are you fucking serious? That was so fucking terrible. Amateur, amateur hour. Dude, check the movement before attacking the second army. They have one army and we're trying to cover all this ground and we waste a full fucking turn. That is really bad. So what can we to expect here? Shit is so expensive uh, to deal with the rebellion. Let's <laughs> get a bunch of this trash support and then maybe a regiment renown. We'll see what uh, what kind of stuff they get. We'll do one turn behind here. There's a military building here though. Because this military building they might get tier 3, tier 4 stuff. Temple of Pachacuti is under attack. We have a wizard here at least.
four plague monks rank four. They could probably do a lot of damage to Saurus. We have come out of Cassandora. Skins will just get butchered. It's our best infantry in the world. Should be fine with these guys. We don't need temple guards, garden don't we have Croxigors. Mm, there's not enough distance here, but we might have the, uh, the laser doom towers. I think they start on tier 3. Only guys have a we have a unit of cold one riders. They're gonna save the day. Twenty six melee attack. Mm -mm -mm. We can count those red ogres. Doesn't look like it's enough to destroy either tower. Their fire is way too low. Maybe this one can still be destroyed because we focus with both. It still miss the uh, par uh, little there. We'll destroy this one here. With this two. We can destroy two towers on the left side. This is a suicide area to attack. Oh, they didn't get it out after that. Damn. That's a delete got run of slingers. The monks will die, eh? The chance to destroy the whole unit. Destroy two towers in this in this one, I think. They have some tech here, but uh, they have stats on their side. Komodo Kassandora does amazing damage, but it takes a while to hit, so some some it might miss. This case should be fine. Lead some friend of fire though. Togers against Croxigors. <laughs> what, what do you think, man? Should we, should we just intervene there? Not in the mood? Okay. Send him. Sock. 
Play monks are fanatic because they have very high leadership. I don't even care about fear and terror as long as they have frenzy. He just yells spells our doom. What did this red always do? Five kills, damn. Must have killed some uh oh, maybe we'll kill five proxies, eh? Head on. That's it enough. See you next time! Rail guns and towers, right? Roy Victory, damn guys, they're good at this game. Hundred hard to resist that. I don't think the pressure boundary applies to the garrison. Oh my fucking god! Jesus, man! Elich, what the fuck? Did they change this shit? I bet this shit got ninja patched. From here, no movement to here. What the fuck? We weren't blocked or anything. Far this is so fucking range. bad. They just got two arms again. Observe. Four, thirteen, plus maybe another eight reality. units. We have uh, extra, but we don't have that much extra. But come on, man, we were here. We were fucking here. Attack, attack, and no moon for the settlement from here. Feels like there's been ninja patch this shit. So take this can live longer. Don't remember this bad movement here before. We don't even have a siege attacker. Yeah, I always say, you know, uh, even if all those extra movement will be wasted on uh, most turns, uh, the fact uh, on some turns you'll have uh, more than enough, uh, it makes all the difference. Better to waste movement than uh, not have enough. So our best bet here is to just ambush here. But uh, this feels like uh, this area made a little bit rougher than before. From here we couldn't attack here. I remember, I fucking remember the AI attacking from here to here. You know how they, you know, have that cocky positioning, you know, raiding, and then attack. Never. We're one turn behind here. 
We could have uh, had no resistance here, and now we encounter resistance because bullshit. Not possible, possible. So what we're dealing with here, uh, Master Assassin, a little bit uh, nasty. Seven units. We need to clear them immediately. Uh, what do we have? Yes. Where are my skin priests? It's turn 31. It's, uh, we're getting into that area where we get uh, skin priests with tier 4 uh, city. We can get building on tier 3, but it's no more than tier 3 in uh, our situation. Even assassin cannot not. 26 arm on these guys. They don't cost us anything, so this is why they're so good. Emergency units. Yeah, this is uh, gonna save us money. Does look like he's almost going south here. It's because uh, we we're missing a unit or two to full destroy them in the first one. It's actually good they survived because we get double experience. Destroying 10,000 chosen or five goblins is the same experience. Units actually get more experience in Outer Zone and Balos as well, Mr. Wonderboy. It's more even out, instead of just effective units. They were uh, free to recruit, but uh, they're not free to upkeep. We'll keep them for us for the second, uh, so we don't we don't get targeted here again. I need a tier three. The tier three guys on the shit, but it'll make them think twice from talking. Why the fuck did I build this building here if I'm just gonna recruit skins? I'm forgetting about that fucking change. You know, I wanted to get Saurus in the first place, true. But then I saw the difference in cost and what we need for the rebels, and it's not worth it. We just spam Saurus uh, for a situation like this, you just burn money, right? And the skins can do uh, for a Thresh Rebellion. It does look like the, hand is, uh, the arm is going south. Or did they march back north? It's hard to see. Uh, let's see, we got a growth. Some very good technologies here. I do love these technologies, just uh, lower costs and uh, speed up recruitment times. Speed up uh, building times by making it, uh, I mean, shorten the construction times returns. Instead of getting this in six turns, you get in five. Or this one in three, get in two. Oh. 
uh, getting right of uh, bankruptcy uh, when we uh, not about to lose capital, it's uh, it's waste. We need that money to get uh, another army going in some infrastructure. In a regular campaign, I guess it would be fine if you really want them. Because you can get them even before turn 20, right? There's gonna be a lot of units here. Uh, I'm hoping we ambush some uh, and hoping the army outside get more units than the army inside. Even the law master could not. Oh wow. Does it look like they recruited extra units there as well? How the fuck can the Hannon even afford this? It's being annoying. Man, they got in a lot of units in a single turn. You've seen that? Like they green skin or something. Holy shit, it was a lot of units in a single turn. I think that the army is outside the city, so it's good. It's 100% research uh, time, no problem. Should be stable for a few turns. Even the Lord yeah, this is not gonna be a retreat, it's uh, gonna be an effective lightning strike here. This, this is a is very exact. good lightning strike. I don't think we can win this, even with auto resolve. Maybe we get a couple of regiments now. probably worth it. Let's see how much money we have to deal with that. Oh, nice garrison there, lady! Surprise! I don't want them to retreat to us. Are we gonna leave that to a chance? Mr. That's pretty nice. How would that blue skill with a 25% cheaper recruitment? Funny, huh? We have to uh, waste the whole turn here, huh? We have a uh, Lord Croak. The guy can destroy cities with his mind, and we have to build fucking siege equipment. Are you fucking serious, devs? Where the fuck is the siege attacker? You all these guys, all the super overkill. Is it so much to, to ask to give him a siege attacker so you don't have to build a fucking ram? What a fucking embarrassment! <laughs> If I get a couple of regiments and now we might be able to get a uh, clean out result here. We can't have let uh, have this here, it's just gonna uh, be very annoying. How much is enough though? Because we have only one attempt for this moment. 2,000, 4,500, this is so fucking expensive here. But we have to get rid of them without wasting movement. Fucking hell. What? 50-50? Holy shit, they know what I was supposed to do. Look at this! You guys remember when uh, when we attack a settlement, the AI attack a settlement, and we have damage units? It's fucking one-sided. Now they have damage units and it's not one-sided. Almost they almost fixed that shit. Holy shit, what a waste of money here, right? How the fuck we killed this much dinosaurs though? Let's see what happens, but I don't think uh, this is doable. They don't have much leadership, right? We have some anti large units here. Because I have to disband this, we, we can't afford that. How 
I'm recruiting my pay to win units and I can't even win a battle. Shit DLC. Fucking 50-50. Now I'm gonna have to click buttons, put some effort. What the fuck is this dog shit game? This guy's a forest rider, but there are not many, not many trees here. Would have been better if we had better trees. Those dinosaurs are weak in the trees, in the jungle. This is also a really bad terrain for it, yeah. yeah. The small terrains, man. Not gonna be enough room. Uh, those guys just glue to our units. This, these units are just good in balance of power, not really in a bell. So what are the best trees here? Here? It's not good enough. We need more trees. The students actually get buffed in the trees. And the dinosaurs get a penalty in the trees. But it's not enough. The skin cohorts are basically just gonna be uh, uh, soccer balls to those dinosaurs. We could bait them, uh, like one of them, into them and then uh, send in the cavalry to click kill the dino. This one is enough to destroy a cave unit. I do destroy what? Probably even a stake in them. Maybe even enough for two dinosaurs. We could separate a couple of them with uh, these skirmishers. It's armor, man. It's a lot of armor. I did not expect Victor here at all. I was expecting broken balance of power. They have the, uh, the right as well. These guys will just mess up Terranons better. Don't have any stopping power for the uh, for the uh, for the twin dinosaurs. They're just gonna be stomping around. They just glue to the target and they just don't let it go. One of these units have uh, pretty good uh, range damage, but uh, it's hard to hit because uh, they're constantly just jumping around. So I'm 
summoning more units here. You know how many dinosaurs we're gonna kill here? Zero. Fucking zero. Yeah, bonuses to melee are just too much without be having your battle skills. You almost have enough to route him here, but it's not good enough, right? It's like almost army losses right now, looking, right? Before that pass was rampaging, might have been army losses. Our, our anti large cavalry lost uh, to Fennel Carnos, our rank 9, by the way. My, yeah. The Fennels don't have enough leadership to fight like this because the air has massive bonuses they can. If I would do this, my units would have routed already like a minute ago. By them having been the air units, they just have no penalties of being fell at all. And we have some good units here. Uh, army losses, debate. Route you fucking bastards! Your router backers you cannot afford! What is this shit? What is this leadership? More units here means more leadership damage, means uh, we uh, uh, try to mass route them. Let's play here. You know, the stronger and larger units nearby, penalty. Fast and strong units nearby on top of everything. We need more units for that. The healing helps a lot. You zoom in darkness. Jesus. How did it not throw there? It's all I got. It's all I got, game. Why did it not throw those goddamn Terminator dinosaurs? Coming back. I can't believe how much trouble we're getting from fellow Bastilladons. They literally have no damage. I have plenty of uh, uh, spears here still. Those guys did pretty good uh, in melee considering how many of them were there and we had to fight them in the trees. We had, uh, we had more trees probably would have been better but not so good, uh, good for our large units. We have some battle skills supporting the Saurus. That's it. Those Bastillons have been surrounded for several minutes and didn't, didn't route properly.
I said I didn't want to put effort to win this battle. Why did they fucking hire all those expensive units to get a 50-50? You deaf? Pay to win units should be paid to win. What the hell? It's like fighting Skaven here, they just keep routing and keep coming back. You can't click for some reason why Twitch, I've been following this stream for three months. Stop unfollowing. Make sure those guys are routed before we lose this bell. How much did I pay for this? Seven thousand gold, I think. Fucking hell, man. I can't even alter the Zolka's bullshit 50-50. What, what's the point of those regiments right now? They're dog shit anyways. If I can't win with a rank 9 units now to resolve. Look at all those Bastildons, man. Feral Bastildon doing that much progress. Who even recruits that shit except AI? Thirty four hundred for this army. This is dog shit. Dog shit. Mm, too expensive dog shit. And you the rest of them can stay. Hey nerd. What you doing these days? Another rebellion here. It's because we just captured the city, so we got a rebellion on top of a rebellion. When you kill a rebellion like this, there should be like a window of 10 turns where uh, it can't rebel again. But they should know how to add tedium to this shit. Can't complain, we get free money here, right? But still. Imagine the amount of time we've been saved if uh, there's actually a system, a proper system for these rebellions. Dangerous ones, and that one that makes sense. Instead of just uh, free money tedium. Just Crusader King memes, how it's a Gork uh, memes. Well, we're at war with everybody, so. We have to uh, put up some effort and complain like it's a hard campaign. We need to get a wall here and then go for terrible skink memes. 
Not sure about this. He has five units. And he has the fell cold ones. Three rank five spears. Even if you defend this turn, we lose next turn to Techless, right? This is absurd. We had to uh, take Star Tower before they could feather it. We missed one turn there. Let's see if we're gonna get punished for it. We could have been only on the way into into the Headhunter jungle. Look at the full red bar. Why can't we get full red bars like that with only six units? He raised it. It's come big. You call yourself Lizaman, Prophet, fucking renegade. More like it. Grimgor has called a, a vow on Karazakarak. Well, thank you again for telling me. I haven't met the Grimgor yet, but uh, I'm sure that's very useful information. Okay, no bullshit confederation. Uh, let's go attack Sartor. This is minus two, minus four, minus six. Far beneath an archmage. Uh, the techless keep turn with that army, it looks like it, yeah. I guess he has nowhere to go. The big bad Gor Gorok is here to kill him and uh, he just lost the uh, settlement here. And a free movement here could have landed all the previous turn. So yeah, he just passed the whole turn here. Thank God we got that ram, boys. Thank God we got that ram. We're gonna attack the settlement here. They forgot to give a lower croak siege attacker. They give him weapons of mass destruction, but siege attacker, those all the walls are indestructible. I uh, use that area for a moment. The AI does this sometimes, uh, I'm here in the water. Thank God for that siege ram. Croak has no abilities uh, uh, against the enemy settlements unless you skill it. Yeah, this will be the end of Techless, pretty much. There's one uh, army outside, but with no settlements, it's over. And this pretty much secures the uh, the Southern Great Jungle and the uh, Headhunter Jungle. Then we can go back to land and focus on other things. Working on the second army. Let's go, boys. Poke that door.
actually abandoning the wall here. Send them there, uh, they're gonna get attacked by the eel, so just keep them away. Mitch is trying to hold the line when he goes boom, 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 boom. What line? Sting needs to start a little war. Well, the Warhammer. I think, uh, you know, this Lord Krog is not enough, guys. They have to give him a lot of life as well. This is just not good enough. Siege Attacker, lot of life, lower cooldowns, and uh, on level 40, 50% disc uh, the discount on casting spells. What the fuck is this shit, man? Not even close to Takeless. They just put this shit on the left and put a lot of life here. And he can just go another lord, like Lord of Fire, Lord of uh, 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 Shadows, Lord of Dead. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I can skip Lord of Dead. We don't know they want to ask too much. You know, like Manfred can uh, just change lords. I think uh, Hans Marshall is fighting uh, uh, Luther Harkin. Banner of Swift is nice. Got a tier 3 here. Um. Public order buildings. Rank 20, we got Honor Elder, Palace 1, Public Coral Provinces, worth say 5%, cheaper upkeep for Sauros, Cold 1, Stamp Guards. Okay, we destroyed Clan Pestilence, uh, we destroyed uh, the Blessed Red. And now we're destroying Order of Lord Masters. The Spinal Sword Dwarf seems busy with the Sentence of Zeti in the West, so we're ignoring them. They're ignoring us. Next to destroy would be Cult of Sotek. And then we take Southern Jungle, Headhunter Jungle, and into the Northern Great Jungle. For, for this area. We can't really defend it without uh, two or three armies, so we're just gonna be flipping for a while. Gordo. Is the Germanic web actually a useful dish to Lisbon? No, no. You build a building, you just get better rights, and that's it. By the time it actually gets buffed, you all are rolling, so it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. <laughs> 
New Itza is gonna get attacked here again. We need to get the wall here. Plus these kick cords are cheap. This is what I really don't get it. Uh, 94, 125. 31 uh, difference. Then you have uh, Saurus Warriors and Saurus Warriors Shields. 14 difference. Hmm. These are just a cheap can for the unit uh, to go with the other couple units and actually do something. Probably not worth building anything here until we stabilize New Itza. Then Pachacuti has another rebellion. You failed, failed. Punishment is a bit low, but should be fine. We are just focused now on the tech list and then we deal with uh, the Hanwen. This is not even worth considering, it's uh, overpriced. And it could get attacked before uh, it hap anything happens there. At least we have an uh, uh, unowned uh, ocean here. The southern says it would be great ocean, which causes a uh, barrier between the continents where we can meet the other side. Unless they sail here. As in if there is a ruin here, which uh, we should avoid. We don't want to make contact with the southern at all this campaign. Which uh, might happen with the Star Tower to Al Haik, right? Whoever controls Al Haik. Okay, that's the end of Teclis. Very nice. Next we deal with the Hanwen. We don't care about the Volcanic Isles. We don't even care about the big port. This place can be a shithole here for the rest of the campaign. If we don't have Star Tower and Awakening, we can meet the big powers. Your conquests strike fear into the hearts of your enemies, mighty lord. The wisest amongst them will know that fate is on your side. We need the Volcanic we Islands, but we don't have to take them for a while. Until we become a superpower, we can ignore this place and this place. Superpower. That's pretty much leaves them with three armies. The other little monsters is gone. They will try to come back here. It's better punishment as well. We need to make sure this is positive, or the pirates take it. We could for this one, but we can only really protect this one from proper army. The council is, is disappointed. Fuck your council. <laughs> Should be fine now. The north. Could also be a public order temporarily. Yeah. Uh, what do we have here? Overkill, nonsense, and nonsense, and regeneration, which we don't really need. Huh? This one is pretty good, though. Total overkills here. We still didn't get his mace.
we don't care about his uh, personal skills. He's always gonna be uh, overkill as this. Never really be uh, anything special. He's just a much worse Grimgor. If we go into deep shit, he might actually do something if we have unique skills, but uh, it's not a priority. He's already tanky enough, so it's a blessing he just built everything else. So he's good in that way. What rank is the Shadow of Lustria? Uh, 30? Mm. His uh, defense is here, so for one point this is better than anything you can get here. He definitely needs a little bit of attack, but it's not a little bit not priority. It points greater than 50% base, so he gets some leadership in attack when he drops in health, and has a regeneration which kind of counters that. So what the hell is the point of regeneration then? We need two skill points though. His 10 attack is massive and his 10 defense is massive. We can completely ignore his character skills, which is uh, very nice. We don't want to put any of this shit here, any of this shit. There's campaign skill, battle skills, a couple unique skills, and that's it. All the wasting enough on the unique skills. He's not that good as a fighter, he's just tank enough, which as your quality in the army increases, it becomes relevant. If we go with the Sa uh with Saurus. You kinda wanna go with uh, Carnosaurus and Reproductals. And we don't currently have Reproductals, but we have Pterodon, so this battle skill does goes, goes for them. We'll go with Swift Rider for the second battle skill. We go Hunt Leader for the third. Now uh, it's uh, it says disabled if hit points greater than fifty percent base. So if he has uh, over half health, it doesn't work, and the regeneration counters it, and he's already tank enough, especially with the mace. He'll never go under half health, so it's a pointless skill. It's only good for the AI. This is a great AI lord. Uh, his toughness and uh, his melee prowess doesn't really matter for the player. It only comes with a good base, uh, so you build everything else and just him how, how he is. Get a couple of unique skills, and that's it. He's a pretty good lord, but uh, his uh, melee prowess line is wasted. It really does nothing. Which makes it really good, because you can get everything else. With just two or three of his unique skills. So how you build Gorok is... Uh, just get particular last year as early as possible. Get Mr. Saurus OP, the Proud Warrior. And then uh, you need one more point to unlock the regeneration. If you have to pick only one more, you just get uh, 10 attack. Because he's already tank enough, so he can do some more damage, and you pick this. And this is optimal Gorok. With a filler, you can also get 10 mil and 50 magic resistance. You never take this. Never. It's a shit skill. You don't take any of these skills, unless this one is already taken. So, he basically has extra battle skills, all that you want. The whole Lizardman arsenal available to you, with campaign skills. And he still gets a great uh, uh, fighter capabilities with minimal uh, investment. That's one of his advantages. You never got this. Really, never. It's Even for the flavor, it's really bad. And this is flavor as it is already. On Gorok, this is trash. Totally wasted. Strong base stats, strong item, and uh, you just get a couple of this here, and that's it. If Croak is in the army, this is just wasted skill points. You get 11 here, and you get pretty much everything in battle skills. Use a variety of units, whatever you want. And uh, with a couple of his unique skills. There might be some extra fillers uh, to get like a Blade Master so you can actually hit something. Uh, getting more attack is probably preferable. He's already too tanky. There might be enough filler to get a Blade Master and that's it.
We're not gonna get his uh, weapon because we're probably not gonna see another skin element, which is a shame. This is where most of his toughness comes from on base stats. The rest comes with uh, some melee defense and regeneration. It pretty much is already too tanky without any effort. So, getting a mighty opponent and blade master is the way to go as final things. In his unique skills, you don't take anything after this one uh, until we have all the battles and campaign skills. Even if a regular campaign, you still go campaign skills first, because you have croak in the beginning. And then you open with this, and this, and this. And after that, it just close your eyes and pick, and doesn't matter anymore. I'm ma making an optimal build for this type of campaign, but it's pretty much the same shit as his base build. Instead of, uh, instead of, you know, this Panarian Fervent, we open with this, just for the extra one or two rebellions. And at this point, this is useless. This would have been more useful. But it's still, you know, just trash four skills just to lock lightning strike. And this is the good shit here. So basically, you get a lord that doesn't require much effort to uh, to be a decent fighter. And they just go for the battle skills, campaign skills. Almost like uh, you're getting a better Vlad and uh, better or worse Gringor. Depends how you look at it. Look at it. Compromise. His army gets extra battle skills because of Lord Croak. Ward save and magic resistance. It's a faction, it's totally a tutorial lore faction. And this is for the new players. Uh, this is a faction to play if you are new to the game. If you're just starting, I recommend it's a Tyrion or Repans. You get a powerful lord that doesn't even require any effort to be powerful. And uh, you can't really uh, uh, mess him up. Whatever you take, it doesn't really matter. Because the Lord Croak is there. You know, it's fun building a strong fighter, so you know, you could go flavor with uh, Deadly Onslaught. You don't really have to go campaign skills, but the campaign skills are too strong. Get that uh, a few armies later. This this army is gonna be dirt cheap, which means the next army is faster. Means uh, end of campaign is faster. You could go predatory fighter into the deadly onslaught instead of campaign skills. It doesn't really matter. It's that easy. Just click whatever you want. Always best is to get dramatic assassins and armor feared because these are powerful skills. It makes uh, campaign snowball much faster. The fact this exists on top of 24% cheaper Saurus, it's like, uh, you know, easy win faction. I can still get more, uh, still get more. They currently cost uh, 114. Uh, Krogar can get even more for Saurus, but they're still they're cheap here. Or we can still get another 10% from uh, technology. But they're still they're really cheap right now. Need to unlock this one, our scrying pool. All buildings and capital on. That's then 20% cheaper card capital. You must Both uh, Krogar and uh, and Gorok are, uh, are probably one of the easiest dead fish campaigns in the game. Because of their uh, locations and uh, uh, really cheap strong armies from the start. But you know, things can always go bad. One thing goes bad in the early phase and uh, you know, you have to do better next time. Like, you see what we did in the beginning? We did pretty much the same uh, Russian clump pestilence, but we were even more reckless this time. One turn faster. You just have to kill clump pestilence here before they get a plague. They just have to die immediately. 
and Lord Krog allows you to uh, kill him with uh, with nothing really, just a couple of uh, uh, other units. The fact that the war has been busy with Sentinels of Zeti made this a very easy campaign. Well, it's a Deadfish uh, campaign, LS. Uh, probably gonna be uh, uh, at least 40 hours. Depends uh, how the other factions go and if we discover any high elves or other factions on other continents. But I can totally see 40 hours here. I have difficulties with Bertone thinking about starting a new campaign with them. Any tips? Well, depending which one, uh, which faction you play. Any tips? Uh, watch my Bertone campaigns. Pretty much the only tip I can give you. Cavalry is king. Cavalry in healing. The early game is different uh, with uh, with Coron and Repans, with uh, Carcass on the border is the same. Carcass on the might be the easiest factions in the game to play and the one that can win the campaign the fastest. Eight turns, I'll take that. The Hennon is not a threat to us, he sends really any, any forces, he's a really shitty uh, faction as the AI, but he's still annoying me until we get some walls. Well, uh, the uh, accept this gift is pretty good if you have uh, Teradons. And we have Teradons, so why not? It's 8 turns. We have access to uh, Shine of Birds, so the Pterodons are pretty nice. We just have to uh, clear and secure the southern area, get a second army, and then we start rolling. This uh, campaign requires us to take all of Lustria, destroy uh, some uh, factions. We all destroyed uh, the three of them, so there's two more left. So looks like Luther Harkness is coming here. You don't really care about it. What else is this bounce of power? What is my fucking full red uh, yellow bar like that the Henry gets? It's a little bit better than the last time around. Lost two is just kings, they're just useless shits. We recruit them just for the numbers. Mm. 
Where did this army go? Did it go south? Could have gone from one of these elements here to be annoying. Well, they, uh, you see this? No walls, no walls, no walls, no walls. The air is so fucking triggered, they're gonna get a brain aneurysm. They have to just go here, drop everything else. And it's fucking toxic. That's why uh, we need a second army and third army as fast as possible. The last three are to prevent uh, Vecca Mall radiation grounds. <laughs> we'll have old Gucci down. Like, nothing really uh, good left here. This growth is useful. Yeah, exactly, Crow Cookies. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. You, uh, the, if you don't have it, it's five turns to recover. So you need to lower it by four turns to go to one turn recovery. You can instantly recover, so it has always one turn. It lowers it by five turns to uh, to one turn. I'm not sure where these guys are, but uh, they're definitely annoying moving around like this. Maybe I should get the ancient crocs over here. Irrepressible is under recovery time minus five. I guess we're gonna just have to chase them around. It's time to fortify the southern great jungle. The garrisons of the lizard are crap, so they'll still uh, go for it. We need the armies anyways, but the, the walls will slow them down, so we have time to do defense, so we don't have to create more of a by losing walls. Settlements. Let's go Lamin Ward, the it says under attack. You can put much more money into, uh, sell, uh, into army, because we need to build. Let's look at Lord Harkness coming here. Gentlemen. Whatever we do here, we clear here, we clear here, somebody else is gonna come, so we have to draw a line somewhere. And the light now, the line is here. Building up this area. Buck, buck. Next rebellion here is in six turns. It's because the settlements were flipping all the time. We're at war with uh, six factions. Once you get three armies, it will be much faster to go around. Right now, it's all this uh, cancerous Vecca mauling. Because we have no walls. So you have shit like this running around, you have to go chase after them. We wasted 10 turns on this shit already.
It's just part of the game, you just have to, you know, make, make peace with it. The settlements will flip in this type of uh, campaign, but uh, as you get more armies, it'll, everything will stabilize. It's uh, agitating, irritating, but uh, just how it is when you're at war with everybody. Frustration is inevitable. There's one settlement, no military, and he's just taking trip into our territories instead of uh, fighting something closer. That's the worst part of it, probably. Mark my words, is gonna go into the water next. Fuck off, Trehenuin! You can't even afford this shit! I don't think there's anything in this city. Seems stable here. We might be able to forge a fuming serpent. Now that we start building walls, uh, the Eluder Harkon is probably going to go for it. Curse my crowded He's uh, fighting the Hans Martial Expedition, but they're not even close to him. He's traveling uh, uh, through these territories and attacking this, which is a little bit strange. This guy is being toxic aggressive, while this guy is clueless. Confused, wandering the, the the jungle and uh, chasing flies. But you know, at least it fits for a little Harkon with this little shit head doesn't really fit at all. This is almost like a, a like a tiny peace and faction just bothering a big ones, cause you know, for the sake of you know them being, I'm alive. I do actions every turn. Notice me. Witness me. I'm in the game. The Hanon AI, what a disappointing faction. The Lizard AI in general is pretty bad, but the Hanon is the worst. Oh, he got stuck here, no water for him, he dead. Oh look at this! Oh Mr. Player, you're building walls! Oh no 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 no, I'm dropping everything I do, I'm gonna go take that city. You could have attacked that city like five minutes ago. The moment I'm getting walls up, they're coming. Oh my god. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. What the hell? Because the, uh, what is the AI attempt to attack only to retreat? So they get a little bit more room there. Because they were stuck on the zone of control. They saved the city, there was no zone of control last turn because they killed the garrison. But now the garrison replenished and uh, they had to get rid of the uh, the area. So they could move out of the zone of control. Two stitch towers this time. Yoho! When the channel uh, points over should make Elliot say, Pachakuti! Pachakuti! And drink some water. You have uh, the clip there. Why you need to uh, meet the saying? You just play that and repeat. 
You should not be making me saying uh, Pachacuti that uh, otherwise I'm gonna have to uh, go play civilization again. A bit overkill on this side. I get both towers a little bit greedy here. Nice. Not greedy at all, we had extra two shots as well. Like some wind blast. They're gonna go on the wall here. They breached the wall? Those bastards. We're gonna repair that shit. Messing out with a ghost. Oh, look at this, there's another one. See you next time. Oh my God, have you seen that shit? Holy next shit. time we'll have better towers for you guys. Yeah, this campaign has gotten down to a very good start. This is gonna be it uh, for the first day of this campaign. Uh, we'll continue uh, tomorrow. We're gonna have uh, some dinner and 
possibly come back with some Battle Brothers with the extra stream. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.